All right, hello, and welcome to this, which is uh, the next, I guess, series of videos I'm doing on F1 2021. Uh, finished up my F2 career mode, or my, I guess my F2 season in the career mode. Uh, and this is going to be my playthrough, or it's going to be the start of my playthrough of Breaking Point, the uh, story mode thing that they've included in the game now, featuring, as it says here, Aiden Jackson, Casper, Anchorman, I think it's how you pronounce that, and the return of Devin Butler from F1 2019. So, should be fun times ahead. Um... I guess this is the, the three difficulties. I think I'm... Ch I don't like it hard. Normal seems a little too easy. I don't know if it's going to change anything. Uh, it seems like a balanced middle. Where it's not too easy, but not too hard. Um, and then in terms of the teams... You have choices between Alphatari, uh, Aston Martin, which you started as Racing Point, uh, Alpha Romeo, Haas, and Williams. Now, I sort of was looking to sort of keep it in line with real life, per se. And by that, I mean, what team can I play? As with my with with uh oh gosh I'm forgetting the the rookie's name I forget his name uh Casper Aikman and Dev Butler what team can I play as where I can insert those guys into the where those guys will get inserted into the grid and it won't really impact the uh some of the other teams as much. Like Alpha Sorry, like why would I take out Pierre Gasly, for example? So I think the best pick is gonna be Haas. So I think these two can easily slide in, replace Grosjean and Magnuson, and then I believe if I pick Haas, Devin Butler's gonna be in a Williams. And that uh, you know, I'm sh presuming he'll be teaming with George Russell, so that's not as bad. So I think I'm going to go with Haas. Alright, here we go. Assists. Alright, custom. Just gonna ma making sure that they match up with my settings. Uh, yeah, everything looks good there. Simulation settings. Realistic on leverage manual. Okay, so let's uh let's go for it. Aiden Jackson. That's the name I was forgetting. Aiden Jackson. Alright, let's get to it. An incredible race! Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden Jackson from Carlin. That's right. 
Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula One. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric, and we couldn't have asked for a better finish for the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. Doing great, keep focused, you know what to do. Copy that! Alright, so our objective is to finish first to secure the F2 championship. Herbs. Got some back markers ahead of us. Next person ahead is Latifi. He's about 1.3 seconds ahead. But we aren't closing. Very rapidly, too. It's gonna blow by Nicholas Latifi. And the leader, Luca Giotto, is uh, two seconds up the road. But we are closing. Wow, I thought he was a lot further ahead than, than I thought. Okay. This looks like we're gonna just drive away with the. Uh, Drive away with the championship here. Actually, let me... Settings. Okay, the breaking point difficulty is challenging. That's good. All right. Again, I wanted it to be in the middle, so... Not the easiest, not the hardest, but the middle. Which will provide some difficulty, but not, like, make it impossible. So stay behind Gyoto for the next set corners and see if I can pass him on the straightaway. And come through, and there we go. Goodbye, Luca Gyoto. We are in the lead. Two laps to go. We are on the verge of winning. We have two championship. Looks like the only exciting thing about this race is going to be if you can catch any more lap cars. We are closing in on at the moment. Again on Sean Galil. Goodbye, good sir. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. But you are in my way.
I believe this is uh, Juan Manuel Correa, I think his name is. I could be totally wrong. Caught him at an awkward spot when we got him past for, for the uh, from a lap down there. And yeah, we are coming around to the checkered flag. Ah, uh, yes, Nikita Mazpin, you will not be racing in this breaking point, I can assure you of that. Thank you for moving over. And coming around the corner, Aiden Jackson does it. Fantastic work, Aiden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. Yes! Come on! And he's done it! Jackson's done it! Aiden Jackson wins the F2 Championship! What a win for Jackson! What a win! And it couldn't have gone to a better driver. A magnificent result. He's already been vocal about his dreams of one day driving for Ferrari in Formula One. Let's just hope the right people are watching today. And here he is, the man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. All right, well, there you go. Oh, my phone just fell on the floor. Having won the Formula 2 Drivers' Championship in Jackson, has now secured a seat in Formula 1, is preparing to take his first steps into the world's most prestigious motorsports series. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula 1, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Casper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures are all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Casper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I'll get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? Aiden, just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans? who are calling you the new Devon Butler. <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> you come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's gonna be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. <sighs> Come on, Aiden. You've got this.
Hello. Aiden, are you in your room? Oh, hey Brian. Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Hey, it's hooked up to the lot. Just do me a favor, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. Oh, it's just interesting to see some of the real life accounts that are included in here. Real life F1 people. Hello? Hello, love. How's it going? All right, Ma. Yeah, it's going all right. I'm just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, I guess. But aside from that, you were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. Great advice. I'm all over it. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. Alright, so some things happening here. Uh, we got our news, social, email, and so on and so forth. Um, Now this is, you know, in a world where the coronavirus really doesn't happen, so they're not really going to mention that here. Uh, it obviously mentions Hamilton winning the world title in 2019 and going for his seventh, which in real life he already has. Um, Ian Jackson makes his F1 debut, another success story moving out from Carlin. Jackson was signed to, to Haas after winning the championship title from, in the F2 2019 season. He will take a seat alongside season driver Casper Aikman and the U.S. based team. Brian Doyle. Okay, so this this Brian Doyle guy, I thought he was like the team principal, but he's more of a team liaison. So Gunter Steiner is still the guy in charge. Um, got. That we got the socials, which I went over already. And then we have emails from Gunter Steiner. And then from Casper uh, Ackerman. So, uh, let me check options. I can... Okay, that's probably... Probably just like when I'm ready, because I was, I was wondering what the point would be where we would uh, be able to just exit out when we're done playing for a certain amount of time. I guess that's the way it's going to work. Uh, so... I will start that in one second. I just have to uh, check something real quick, and I'll be right back for the, I guess, the first, not the first part, but the first F1 part of the breaking point.
All right, should be back now. Uh, so, I think I I think I, there was some problem with the online thing when I started up the game. It was loading and loading, and it it wouldn't connect online for whatever reason. Um, so I don't know what rewards are or what the rewards will be, but uh, nevertheless, I'll just go straight to the race. With the world watching, expectations high as ha at Haas, F1 rookie Aiden Jax appears to be holding his own in his maiden race in Melbourne. With the possibility of a points finish, he keeps focused on the race in front of him. Now, I have gone through on YouTube and just looked things up, and I've seen sort of the cinematic elements to this, so I, I sort of know how everything's going to go, but still, it's going to be fun actually playing it. A solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. All right, so he just passed George Russell, who is uh, Devin Butler's teammate. Catching up to Daniel Ricardo. in P10 at the moment. First of all, I really banged with Daniel Ricardo there, but that's alright. We got through there. Um, took this complex corner, it's a little wonky, so... I believe the objective was to catch Casper Ackerman before lap 11. So that's what we're gonna do. Get some ERS. But no DRS for some reason, but that's okay. Get by Antonio Giovinazzi. And took that corner really wide. Now we've closed up to Devin Butler in the Williams. Hit the wall a little bit there. Also, I sort of went with Haas because it sort of leads to a more interesting environment with Haas and Williams sort of fighting up there for points. Makes the midfield seem a little bit more exciting than it did in real life with. Haas and Williams struggling at the back. I'm gonna get by you, Butler. Get out of the way. Brilliant. Nice move. There we go. Closing in on Casper now, Aiden. Good job. And there we go. Australian Grand Prix this has been, but there's still plenty of time for more drama. 
There certainly is, Crofty. And these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Aiden Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's OK. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11 on this card one. And it doesn't. Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he OK? It's Casper OK. He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it. Sure, there's going to be fireworks in the half garage tonight. There will be Crofty for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely, and I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson, not how his F1 race debut should have gone. The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aidan? Yeah, car's OK. Understood. See how well you can do out there. So, looking at the incident, you know, I I would understand if Ackerman is upset, but at the same time, sort of Devin Butler was uh, putting his car in a place where it really shouldn't have been in that corner going three wide. But uh, it's all, all part of the fun, all part of the story. As I now try to refocus. You're putting a good distance between yourself and the car behind. See if I can catch Devin Butler and claw back a point in this race. Gap ahead is 2.3 seconds. Got six flaps the to gain some spots here. 8.5 seconds. We're starting to catch the car in front, but we need to look after the tires. We won't be making another pit stop. Eh, probably could have gone to that complex a little better, a little bit more brake going into t going into this. I guess turn three. That's better. So better run through that section of the track. Yeah, should have no problems catching Devin Butler here and passing him. Just gotta this comes down to a matter of where we're gonna do it. Oh! Man, that section has been tripping me up so far. Break. go I think we should be able to get Devin Butler very quickly here overtake him into this tight corner there you go see you later Devin now we're closing in on Lando Norris with a great rate of speed we're going to blow by him okay, to get up to P9. Oh, he's coming back. Ooh, he runs a little wide. 
And he might fall into the clutches of Devin Butler. Gap to teammate As they go side by side. Seconds. That's only going to help me out. As I pull away. As Butler gets by Lando Norris and boots the McLaren out of the points. Ahead of us, I believe, is Alexander Albon in the Red Bull. And if we're able, I'm not saying we're going to, but if we're able to catch and beat a Red Bull in this race, that'd be quite the statement from Haas. Quite the statement for Aiden Jackson on his debut as well. There's five laps of fuel remaining. As Albon's looking about Lance Stroll in the racing point car. Oop. A little bit of a wonky run to that corner, but we're all good. Still going. Looks like Albon and Stroll are about to get battling to get to battling in front of us here. Okay, the gap behind is 4.2 seconds. And they might be going side by side. And they are going side by side. We're not going to have DRS. We weren't close enough to Albon in the detection zone. Could you getting two for the price of one here, though? Albon went for the overtake. Didn't work. That says up for a big dive bomb into this corner. And we're going to get Albon from the spot. We have passed a Red Bull in a Haas. Great maneuver. You made it look easy. So I guess over the winter, Gunther Steiner and the rest of the Haas team must have found something to give their car the speed that they had in 2018 back again for 2020. And that second part of that right-left complex is really uh, messing with me here. I'm just trying to nail it perfectly, especially with the new curb physics in this game. The way the curves work really throw you off if you're not careful. And we're going to stay behind Stroll here to be a little cheeky and get DRS coming out of the or going on to the front straight, you know, we'll have passed Stroll, but we were behind him in the de in the detection zone, so we will have DRS and he won't. And that will give Albon a huge advantage, because Stroll won't have DRS to help him out. He goes up aside, and I think we're, uh... We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. I think we're going to be pretty secure here in P7. As Stroll and Albon continue to go side by side. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Gap to car in front is 5.1 seconds.
Just get to see the race director and see who's where. So it's Hamilton, Verstappen, Botas, Perez, Sainz, Leclerc, In Jackson, Albon, Stroll, Butler, Norris, Ricardo, Vettel, Giovinazzi, Estuano, Khan, Kvyat, Casper, Aikerman, all the way down P17. Gasly, Russell, Gasly, and Raikkonen. So yeah, and uh, again, that's, I think that's why I also decided to go with Haas, just to, uh... Our gap behind is 2.2 seconds. M it makes things, at least, a little bit more interesting in terms of the, you know... With Haas and Williams being up there, it leads to a more, I guess, interesting fight throughout the midfield. Well, there isn't really a, a bottom team per se. Like, there's nobody in a hostile Williams position from this year or last year where they're like, clearly at the bottom. Yeah, so at this point in the race. We're heading down the final lap right now. It's going to be uh, a solid points day on his debut for Aiden Jackson, despite the uh, incident with Casper uh, and Devon. Six points, not a bad haul at all. is 3.8 seconds. And Lewis Hamilton wins the Australian Grand Prix with Verstappen and Bottas on the podium. Sergio Perez in the Racing Point will be fourth. Carlos Sainz will be fifth. Uh, Leclerc will be sixth. And Ian Jackson, as I said, F1 debut. Despite the issues, will come home in P7 to score Six points for Haas in the season opener. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. A great race then, and a fantastic victory here at Albert Park. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia, Act. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport, and it'll be interesting to see how the new Haas driver, Aidan Jackson, settles in, especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. All right, it's an awkward incident involving Devin Butler and his own teammate. Casper, Anchorman, Mard, Jackson's maiden outing in F1. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh. Butler. Ahem, um, Devon. I didn't see that. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. 
you cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't settled in yet. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth has to think. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Okay, Aiden. Let's talk about that instant with your teammate. All right. Brian. Talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it in the debrief. Right, yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I thought he is like the hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, I've got nothing. Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. But Casper... Yes, yeah, so he can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on. But you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief. All right, Team Tuscle and Haas, not a great start for the F1 outfit. Following a strong start, events took an unfortunate turn after an avoidable incident between Haas drivers Casper Ackerman and Jackson. Uh, it's unclear at the stage where responsibility for the incident falls, with Ackerman damaging his vehicle and being forced to pit early, and the involvement of Devin Butler, who may, who may have contributed to the situation with an arguably aggressive maneuver. It's clear that there will be strong words in both the Haas and Williams garages tonight. Uh, da, 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 da. And it's all the old stuff. Okay. Socials. Again, we got more people who are real life people. Real life people in F1 or on the F1 community online. Emails, all right. All right, so 
that was it for part one, or I guess chapter one, and then we'll go to the next chapter. I think I might I might do like three chapters. We'll see. I, I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Okay, so chapter ter chapter two. The world of motorsports moves fast, and with the focus quickly shift, or with the focus quickly shifting to the Chinese Grand Prix, Aiden Jackson and Haas are eager to find form heading into the fourth race of the 2020 season. Uh, yeah, I'm not again. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna end up going in this. Um, but yeah, let's keep it going for now. It's the Chinese Grand Prix here in Shanghai, and this track fast becoming a rookie's favorite. Alex Albon, remember him from last year? A brilliant race in his debut season, and it looks like Aiden Jackson's continuing the trend. He really is, Crofty. He's showing great promise so far this season. Well, here's Ackerman now going up behind his young teammates. And the rumor in the paddock, Crofty, is that the tension's building between these two. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Ackerman's going for it. Down the inside of the hairpin. He's bashed his teammate off the track. What are you doing? Casper, what the hell? Looks like Jackson's really struggling to get over that. Okay, Aiden, keep it focused. Concentrate. That brush with his teammate clearly affecting the young driver. It looks like it has, Crofty. I can't see any significant damage to that car, so he's going to have to pull himself back into this race. Car's looking okay, Aiden. See if you can recover a few places. What was that all about? You can recover, Aiden. That's not okay. That's really not okay. So, drama. The tail end of the Chinese Grand Prix as we close up on Lando Norris. I actually have to pause for a quick moment to uh, take care of something. <sighs> Alright, I guess we're good to continue for now. Why well, I have to pause again? I don't know. As Linda Norris tries to come back at me, but we fight him back. DRS. And our goal is to not go wide at the hairpin, but to get 10th place before the end of the race. Checking the race director to see what's going on elsewhere. Baltas, Hamilton, Verstappen, Leclerc, Stroll, Vettel, Perez, Butler is in eighth. Alba ninth, Casper, Ackman in tenth. So, interesting stuff there. Great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. <coughs> I'm not sure how that qualifies as the fastest lap when, uh, that was coming right after Casper uh, shoved me off the track. But uh, sure, we'll go with that. Closing in on Esteban Ocon in the Renault. Go around the outside and back to the inside. We're up to P12. As it looks like Casper is battling with Carlos Sainz. Oh no, that's actually Sainz lapping Giovinazzi in the Alfa Romeo. Okay. 
Casper's a little further up the road. Giovinazzi should be letting us by here. And he does. And I hate to knock uh, Aiden Jackson out of the points, but if that's what I gotta do, then. Well, that's what I gotta do, so. The gap to the car behind is 2.6 seconds. Running a little wide, but we're staying just inside the track. Get by Carlos Sainz. Easy as you like. A little wide in the exit, but we're still good. Lapping Pierre Gasly. In the AlphaTauri. Five laps of fuel remaining. Actually, who's in the AlphaTauri? Oh yeah, it's Daniel Kvyat. He was in the Alphatari last year. That matches up. Another lapper. Strong is exit out of the corner here. We're gonna have DRS on our teammate. Swerve in front of him, so let him know or show my displeasure at that move he made. so far so we've met our goal so anything after this is a bonus as we again make another outside move this time on Alexander Albon in the Red Bull another race where we're gonna be being a Red Bull Christian Horner must be not thrilled with how Albon is performing so far in the season our gap to the car in front is 1.8 seconds of fuel remaining. There's still about three laps to go after this, so we can actually get further up than this. Closing on Devin Butler. Looks like we'll be beating him again in this race. A little sly coat over on him. Let him know his boss. Three laps to go. And at this rate, we are definitely going to catch and pass Sergio Perez in the racing point. And we may even catch Sebastian Vettel in the Ferrari if everything falls our way. On the overtake on Perez, we get the spot, though he is going to have DRS on us. Coming down this straight, so we might catch back up. I 
Yeah, he's gaining, but he's not gaining a ton of time. Yep, so we're back in our old familiar P7, which is where we were in Australia. Two laps of fuel remaining. Definitely gonna catch Vettel here. On the final lap of the race, we could even get up to P5 with Lance Stroll's not that far ahead of Vettel. We're leading our teammate by 11.5 seconds. They're on old mediums. They're in 11th. The time last lap was a 141.1. too much with the bumpers there. Not even bumpers, just strip contact. Make a awkward place to make a pass, but we've made it work at that point so far, so why not make it work again? Nice move. Good job. Yeah, we're gonna finish this race in P5 at this rate. Definitely gonna have the speed advantage over Stroll with DRS. back a little bit just so I don't run into him or pass him before I activate the DRS. And Valtteri Bottas will win the Chinese Grand Prix. And we are going to make it from P13, or wherever it is we were, around there, all the way up to P5. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. Plenty to look at there, and a little bit ominous seeing the two Haas teammates make contact again. Things don't look stable between these two drivers, Crofty. They've barely been teammates five minutes. That wheel bump, could that have been avoided, Ant? Yeah, it looked like Ackerman was making a bit of a statement to me. He's certainly not given Jackson any room. A sign of things to come? Well, for their sakes, let's hope not. That wraps things up here in China. Until next time. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today.
<sighs> Following an eventful Chinese Grand Prix, tensions are on the rise at Haas as Jackson and Ackerman again make contact with one another, following an aggressive overtake maneuver by the veteran. Casper, what the hell was that? You nearly put me out the entire race. Bumping wheels like that, you could have put us both into the barrier. Casper, come on, man. You... I have to make a phone call. Casper, Ackerman, Mom, cancel the TV subscription. The entertainment is right here. Oh, come off it. Do you really have nothing better to do? By now, no. <laughs> and why would I want to miss this? You two, you two are like characters in a badly written sitcom. He wanted you a lot to sign Ricardo, you know. Ask anyone. What do you mean? The paddock talks, mate. And so did Ackman. Should have heard him last season. He didn't care who he talked to, and he was always going off and on about you. He tried to stop them from signing you. He didn't want to play babysitter. Oh, he did, did he? Everyone knows. Uh, have you not seen the way that people look at you? We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want my advice? Prove him wrong! <laughs> Chin up! Hello, love. I saw the race and thought I'd give you a call. And why is that? Just to say, well done, like I always do. Oh, right. I saw what happened in the race with Casper. Can't believe he wasn't penalized. Are you okay? I'm fine. And Casper, what's he said about it? Nothing. He wouldn't speak to me. Well. Maybe keep trying. It can't hurt to clear the air. Just remember what your grandmother always used to say. The fights that can't be won are the fights you fight the hardest. I'm not even sure that makes sense. Just... Whatever's going on, don't let it get to you. And call me later, okay? <laughs> Will do. some of the social media posts. Tapper seemed frayed over at Haas after an incident left both Casper and Grimmett and Aiden Jackson fighting wheel to wheel. An obvious clash of egos, Ackerman openly challenged his teammate's position, only for the pair to bump wheels with disastrous results. This unfortunate contact initially left Ackerman in a far more advantageous position, allowing him to roar ahead. However, Jackson's grit and determination were also on full show, and the junior driver's tenacity pushed him to ultimately pass and finish the race ahead of his teammate, the Flying Dutchman. It's undeniable that with such a recovery and in rising above adver adversity, finishing ahead of his teammate, Ian Jackson's reputation is sealed as the hot new name in F1. Here we got the story, just like in real life, about Racing Point becoming Aston Martin. And then the trackside. 
with Brian Doyle. Ah, all right. Well, I'm trying to think. So there are 17 parts, and that was part two. Um, I probably do one or two more, but I'm gonna step away for one momento. So, I'll be right back for maybe one or two more parts. All right. Huh. I think hmm. I think we'll do one more part and then I'll call it a day from there. So we'll just uh, go to the next chapter. French Grand Prix, the recent series of incidents with his teammate Casper Eichmann, both on and off the track, have marred the start of Aiden Jackson's rookie F1 season. With the French Grand Prix coming up, Jackson is keen to find the form that brought him so much success in F2. It's a great day for racing here at Le Castellet, and the drivers are making their final preparations on the grid. Let's hope for a thrilling contest then, here at the French Grand Prix. Six lefts and nine rights give us a total of 15 corners here at the circuit Paul Ricard, and a lap covers an overall distance of 3.6 miles. Average speeds will be somewhere in the region of 142 miles per hour, and they'll be maxing out on the Mistral Strait at around 205 miles per hour. Here we are then at the circuit Paul Ricard in France, the 10th race of the 2020 Formula One season, and the standings are starting to take some kind of shape, Ant. Yeah, exactly. You've got your big three jostling for position at the top, so no surprises there. A little less predictable in the midfield, though you could make an argument for Haas underperforming somewhat. The two Haas drivers denying each other points, perhaps. 
Well, it's all to race for and a lot of season left ahead of us. So let's see how it all pans out. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Sergio Perez and Ricardo, Norris, Vettel, Sainz and Lance Stroll, Ocon, Ackerman, Devon Butler and Albon, Russell, Kvyat, Antonio Giovinazzi and Aidan Jackson. Gasly and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Okay, we've not quite had the start of the season we'd hoped for, but we've got a chance to make up some ground today. Try to keep your nose clean and show us what you've got. Good luck, Aiden. All right, I guess we're going from the start here. And we're underway. And our goal is to beat both McLaren and Renault drivers. Well, that's not going to help Matt much. So it to be Sainz, Norris, Ricardo, and Ocon. All right, got that. Contact with Butler. He's got a bollard. Uh, some contact on the opening lap there. Let's see if we can take a replay at that. This is Devin Butler. into him. Uh, Russell and Kimmy. Bam, bam. Surprised I didn't knock Butler out of the race, to be honest with you. Uh, I did get a penalty, so... Just something to spice things up a little bit, I guess. Show Devin Butler who the boss is. Fortunate for Kimmy, but uh, just a just a victim there, unfortunately. Oh. <sighs> Things are going well until they until they weren't. So we've got two McLarens and one Renault in front of us at the moment. Signs to Ricardo right in front of me. Whoa, Signs really throwing on the block there. It actually caused me to take the corner in an awkward position. Switch 
back. And we are by Carlos Sainz. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a handle on Ricardo. Pass here, not even with DRS. by Ricardo and already lap two and our goal has been completed. We have gotten by both McLarens and both Renault cars. Now it's just the point of finishing the race. And I believe as we run way wide that corner, I believe we will need to make a pit stop at some juncture. Just don't know when exactly that's going to be. I believe the pit road strategy said lap 5. So I guess we'll give that a try. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Perez really slowing up to that first couple, those first the two corners. Has started to drop back. There's a gap beginning to form, but he's still there. Fend him off there, and we are up another place in a P5. has just put up the fastest lap of the race so far. Oh, the AI are so bad to those first two corners. Side line on Leclerc. We're going to go by into E4. Now, I'm pretty sure that we need to make pit stops in this race. I'm almost certain of it. I don't know for sure. We're boxing this lap. Oh, well, Give there you the go. Lap you can. Gap to teammate I guess we're going to box this lap. Seconds. As I was say, I was wondering, since it's such a short race, we 
believe this is the 25% distance. I didn't know if we were going to be even doing a pit stop, but it looks like we are. Okay, gap ahead is 3.9 seconds. Open up a bit of a gap just so I can make my pit stop without much of a problem. For anyone behind us. This is gonna put me in terms of the rest of the pack. So I know uh, the Williams cars would have stopped already to repair their damage. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. You know what? Until I see other people with pitting with me on the rewind, I'm not gonna pit. I'm gonna stay out. Until I see physical evidence that I am not the only one pitting. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. The car in front is 3.6 seconds. Alright, there we go. Hamilton for Stappen pitting, so I'll, uh, Confirmed, we'll receive you at the end of this lap. Now. That's the only one. I just want confirmation that I was going to be the only one coming into pit road. Or into the pit lane, I should say. Ooh, and Verstappen's going to get ahead. Uh-oh, more drama. Double stacking. Go. Exit now. We're racing on the exit. Complete. Go now. Not sure if Casper will be a big fan of that. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. now keep it up easily eh, not quite easily but easy enough by Pierre Gasly Gasly coming back at me Well, we squeeze him in a little bit and maintain the position.
Esteban Ocon in the pits now. Blow by all those guys. We're back in the P4. After this, five laps to go. The gap to the car ahead is 3.4 seconds. Hamilton and Verstappen swapping the lead. wide back on track so let's check the race director in the running order at this point uh, Dev Butler all the way down in 19th oh what a shame that is for Devin what a shame to go now. As the two Mercedes continue to hound Max Verstappen. In his Red Bull. Front is 3.6 seconds. Ooh, did not get to that corner very well. again
five laps of fuel remaining. push these next two laps. Overtake is up to 100. So let's see what we can do. Four laps of fuel remaining. New fastest lap of the race right there. Meanwhile, Hamilton has gotten by Verstappen for the race lead. So he's right along in P4. We're leading our teammate by 28.0 seconds. Uh, looks like Hamilton's going to win this one. Run one again. I'm still gonna capture that fastest lap though, so that's good. Definitely not on the track line, that's for sure. We're gonna bring it home. Best finish ever, fourth place. the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was.
Business as usual for the big three, but a bit of a reshuffle in the midfield here in France. That's certainly much better from Haas. Frankly, they should be in the mix more often. On a good day, they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. And they've certainly proved it today. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. So, Aidan, it's a great result for you here today. The team must be delighted with a solid points finish. How are you feeling? Hmm, it's a solid result, but there's always room for improvement. Good, but it's kind of the result I expected. Um, I'll be more modest. Yeah, I'm good. It's a solid result, but there's always room for improvement. I'm sure we'll be looking at all the data from today and working out how we can build on it for the rest of the season. Well, it's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? Hmm. I think there's always going to be hurdles. And look, you never know what's around the corner. Change is always difficult, but I think I'm settling in. The team seems happy at least. So there's no current tensions within the team. We've all seen that you and Casper have locked horns so far this season. Is that something that's now behind you? I think there's always going to be a settling in period. It doesn't matter who you're paired up with. You've got to have a strong character to do what we do. We may have our differences, but I'm sure we'll get there. Appreciate your time. Chapter 3, Jacks put in a solid performance of the French Grand Prix to firmly cement Haas as a contender in the crowded middle of the pack of the F1 grid, much to, to the delight of the team's management and fans. Ryan. Aiden. Just so you know, there's a full team meeting in 20 minutes. No worries. We just want to review our strategy while the race is still fresh in our minds. Right, okay. I'll see you there. Uh, listen, uh, while you're on, I just wanted to say that was some solid driving out there today. I'm impressed. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Put it this way. It's been noticed. Well done, kid. I'll see you in the meeting. Hey, Mom. Hello, love. Just calling to say well done, as usual. You okay? Thanks, Mom. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Real good. I think I delivered today. I thought so. And I think the neighbors probably did too. <laughs> I couldn't stop shouting. <laughs> oh, not again. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. Hey, it's Silverstone soon. So does that mean you'll be home for a few days? Probably. I'll try and get over for a day or two, either side of race weekend. You know, Silverstone was always your dad's favorite track. I know. You're still coming to the race, right? Do you really think I'd miss out on the VIP treatment? Of course I'm coming. I just wish it wasn't on my own, you know? 
Yeah, I know, but I'll be there. And I can't wait to see you. Me too. Anyway, I won't keep you. I imagine you want to go and celebrate. Well done again. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Speak soon. Right. News. Which is each of the race weekends so far having one thing in common the quiet improvement of the new house driver, Aiden Jackson. After a few notable incidents at the start of the season, Jackson's driving is finally starting to come into its own. I think there's always going to be hurdles, and that's the comments I made earlier. Vettel announces Ferrari departure. The annual game of musical chairs. Starting strong. Teammate speculation. Da, 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 da. All right, so I think that's good for now. And I will. Should be all set. This is the thing I was mentioning earlier with the communicating with online services having some problems. Don't know why that would be an issue since I'm playing the base game. Oh man, did I... Apparently it didn't save. Well, that's a bunch of crap. I guess I'll have to do that race again, but I'll do it off camera and I'll try to keep it the same as I did before. Um, man, that's really such a really annoying thing. I don't know why I wouldn't save, but. Uh, online services again. Can we please move on? Alright, well that's it for now. I'll do that race again and make sure it actually advances to the next point in the story. <sighs> Alright, well that's it, and I'll uh, see you for the next one.